Thanks, Mike. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the RFA grounds. We're going to have the team announcement for the team that is traveling to France for the Rugby World Cup qualifier. Uh, it's been a bit of a journey. Uh, I, I can say it started two years ago last year with the first round of the qualifiers in Nairobi, where we came second in our group. However, we still we still qualified to the, the to, to play in the final round, uh, which our game will be on the second against Uganda in the quarterfinal of, of the qualifiers. Uh, we, we thank everybody who has supported us in this journey, and uh, we, we can't uh, reiterate more that uh, we require as much support as, as we can. Uh, I, I, I won't say much. Today is the day for the coach. He's going to name his squad, so I'll just step aside for Paul to continue. Thanks. Yes, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen of uh, Fourth Estate and uh, Acting CEO Thomas Udundo. Um, and it is uh, a pleasure uh, to be here to name the team to uh, try and get Kenya to the World Cup for the first time ever. And as uh, the C CEO said, it's been a long journey um, with ups and downs. Uh, last year, uh, we were on the brink of not making it, but we did get through. And then from there, it's just been to build steadily uh, right through until this moment. It's always a proud moment for families, for players who have made the squad, but it's also, I think, a disappointing moment for those who've sacrificed their time, energy and effort, but have not been selected for the squad. So I myself uh, sat through quite a number of these in the national team. So I do know always how it feels to make the squad and also to be disappointed when one doesn't make the squad. So I think to all the families and players who've made the squad, congratulations. To all uh, those who've not made the squad, they must stay focused because um, between now and when we play the final on the 10th of July, um, I think anything can happen and it is uh, for them to stay focused and keep fit. So I will name the squad and then I'll be uh, ready to take any questions from you. So um, Andrew Simenyo, Edward Mwaura, Eugene Sifuna, Teddy Akala, Brian Waraba, Patrick Ouko, Ephraim Odwar, Joseph Odero, David Chenge, Brian Juma, Thomas Okeo, Malcolm Monsando, who will be one of the vice captains, George Nyambua, Daniel Sikuta, who's going to be the tour captain, Martin Owila, Samuel Asati, Brian Tanga, John Kubu, Andrew Matoka, John Okoth, Colin Zingera, Vincent Onyala, Bryson Adaka, Jacob Oje, Derek Ashiundu, Darwin Mukidza, and Dominic Coulson. So those are the 28 players who have been tasked with getting Kenya to the World Cup. Would have loved to take uh, more, 35 who we have in camp was our preferable number, but as um, Thomas Odundo has pointed out earlier, um, we still do need a lot of support to just try and get this 28 um, to France. Just to say a few things about the composition of the squad. Uh, we have 10 players under the age of 23. We have 8 players who are over 30. Uh, the reason I point that out is because uh, it's always important to get a balance between youth and experience. The average age of the team is 26 years old. We have 5 players who represented Kenya at the Junior World Trophy in Brazil in 2019. We have 10 players who we have come uh, through the system with from 2015 uh, in the under 20s. So we came through from the under 19s into the under 20s and who are now uh, playing for the senior team. Uh, the average age of the team is 26 years of age and it is also a matter of honor that we have two Olympiads in the team, that is Colin Zingera and Jacob Oje. So that is the squad. Um, we're confident that we've struck the right balance between experience and youth. We've also struck the right balance between the skills. And most importantly, we've struck, uh, struck the right balance between uh, personalities and how the team gels together and combinations. So thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen.